So we are back with another adventure today. We are actually in Macon, Georgia, uh, at the Big House, uh, which was the home of the Almond Brothers. Um, a little bit about the Almond Brothers band. Uh, they were formed in 1969 in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, so today we're going to take a tour of their home and some of the exhibits and some of the stuff that they have uh, stored here and um, also get to see the pool table that was actually housed uh, with Greg Almond, Almond and Shear when they were together. So the pool table that was in their house is actually here. Uh, so that's actually pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot of memorabilia from all of the members of the band. Uh, later on as well, we're going to take a tour of the cemetery uh, where some of the Almond Brothers are some of the Almond Brothers are buried. Uh, so stay tuned for that second the second part of this video uh, when we go out there to the cemetery. Uh, but with that being said, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Uh, love you guys, and talk to you guys again soon. Yes, that's that um, witch truck's a signature on the back side. You should have it out right, but you pull it out. Somebody wrote on it. Look. Can you see that? We don't want it to fade, so we're keeping it out of the light. That's actually pretty cool. These are all the members right here. We need to fi <coughs> That's the crash or the accident inside of sight of both of them. I don't know.
That's funny. <laughs> Good old funny guys. It's really neat. We've got a lot of. Would you guys like a picture of the family in front of us? Sure. Yeah. pretty cool. It's been a blast being here. And then you got some of this stuff behind me, some of the more artifact or more memorabilia of the band and um, the instruments that they the instruments that they used. Uh, we got some of these jackets over here, um, which was the jacket that they used during their 81 and 82 tour. Uh, so uh, that's actually pretty cool. Um, got some of the um, instruments signed by the band members. Uh, also, when we got here, uh, there was a map that was given to us uh, where it actually shows us the accident scenes of Dwayne, um, Dwayne uh, Allman and the other band member that died, uh, unfortunately, from a motorcycle accident. Uh, so that's actually uh, really interesting to know some of the pieces that they have here um, in the areas of Macon uh, that holds significant roles uh, for this band and the history that they had with this community and, um, and, and the legacy and the fan base that they built uh, through their time, uh, especially after being created. Uh, started up in 1969 in Jacksonville, Flo Jacksonville Florida, uh, and then just kept growing, uh, and then just became um, a very popular, well-known band. Uh, you, as you can see when we were in here at the beginning, uh, there was a lot of uh, records that they hold, um, a lot of plaques and uh, stuff like that that they've got over the, over the years. Um, like right here, uh, there is a thing of Woodstock uh, back in 94 of the Allman Brothers Band, uh, so that's actually pretty good. And then we got some more memorabilia on this side. Got a little Tasmanian Devil. Uh, so this is the wall of 18 or 1989 to present. Um, there's a picture as well. Then you had 1979 to 81, uh, and some of probably their cover arts, I would imagine, is up there in those little frames. Uh, and then you got the different uh, shirts for the Allman Brothers. Uh, some of the, some of the stuff that they may have wore during those times. Then you have that jacket right there. It's 
some more pictures of Dwayne uh, and the rest of the band right here. And we have chair. right here behind me, the band and its members uh, like this one right here um, there we go oh, there we go so it's just neat to be able to see all this uh, see what they have to offer here at the big at the big house uh, located in Macon uh, holds a lot of uh, memory uh, a lot of positive things we have an old piano. Oh man, amazing collection. Yeah. Where is that that we don't Where's Dickie Betts? up there as well so stay tuned for that love you guys make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to my channel as well Upstairs now, and just touring a little bit of some of this memorabilia that they have up here. And uh, gonna walk over to uh, Brit Brittany Oakley's room and uh, Dwayne's room as well. Uh, so that's gonna be pretty interesting. Uh, there's a lot of neat little things um, here. There's Greg. Almond and his tour. Uh, this actually used to be uh, a walk-in closet from what I was reading um, on their website. So uh, that's actually pretty cool. And then you have all of this great memories. Um, now, when I was in the gift shop, uh, there was a guy down there that actually was telling me that the band has been around was around for. Uh, 45 years uh, so you know they've had a good road good show uh, and good career um, and then here we are in another room and you have all this great stuff right here and right there you have the yellow old record player uh, so right there. So 
an old record player that they actually got playing. Uh, and you got some notes right here. Looks like. So that's pretty neat. Almond Brothers. Alright, now we're walking to another room. Here we are. behind me. Uh, let's continue going forth. Alright, so we are actually now in uh, Brittany Oakley's room. Uh, and this is actually her original dollhouse. Uh, and it's still here um, to this day um, in her bed that she would be laying in at night. And you just got some of some of her stuff up here and some more stuff up there on that shelf. Uh, so it's just really neat to be able to see uh, where she was able to lay her head. Uh, now we're going to head into uh, Dwayne's room. As you can see right here, you know what I mean? Some more of Dwayne's artifacts. Uh, so this is Dwayne's room. Uh, so let's take a tour of Dwayne Almond. So as you can Almond right there and some of his stuff. And then over there as well. There's a picture of him right there on the wall. Uh, so, it's a tragedy. Uh, Dwayne actually uh, passed away uh, from a motorcycle accident. Uh, and you guys remember this This dress is right here. It's the same dress that Brit Brittany Oakley wore uh, in the Brothers and si Sisters LP uh, that the Almond Brothers did. Uh, so that is the same dress that she wore on the cover of that album. Uh, so it's actually pretty cool to see that it's still here uh, and it's being preserved and washed over and taken care of uh, so holds a lot of memories uh, as well uh, you have the big picture of Almond Brothers with the truck uh, and the peach and right here you have some more artifacts as well over how many here have this guitar, some more pictures of the group. So, you got a sign up there. I hope that you guys are enjoying this video. It, it's been a great time out here and being able to uh, come out here and see some of the history. Um, as you can hear, they're playing music uh, of the band during those times. Uh, so this is actually pretty cool to be able to hear the music as you're walking through their home. Um, there's another one right here. Uh, right there. That is actually pretty cool. Um, uh, this was actually 
uh, back in Alpharetta, um, September 2nd. Um, 2013, it looks like, uh, so, um, you know, uh, and I think the lady downstairs said that two of the members of the Armed Brothers are still alive uh, today, so uh, one of them lives out in Florida, I'm not 100% sure which, where the other one, where she said the other one was living, um, but it's just wonderful to be out here. You have uh, this is the guitar. If you guys look right here, this is the guitar uh, that was used in the Eat a Peach tribute. Or Eat a Peach. Uh, this is actually the tribute guitar uh, from that. So that's actually pretty cool. And it even says it right up there. If you can't see. Stay tuned for the second part as we get ready to go to Rose Cemetery uh, and pay our respects to the Almond Brothers uh, there as well. Um, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and talk to you guys again soon. All right, you guys, so we are back with another adventure. This is part two of our epic trip down here in Macon, uh, following the Almond Brothers. Uh, we, were, we were at their museum slash house uh, earlier, uh, and now we have came to uh, Rose Cemetery uh, to pay our respects them as well uh, so here we go so as you can see there is bush butch trucks buried here uh, as well as Greg almond and Dwayne and Barry Oakley. If you're not familiar, Barry Oakley's daughter is Brittany Oakley, uh, and we we looked and we've seen it inside her room uh, earlier when we were at the uh, location. So that's actually pretty cool. I'm going to show you guys the graves and stuff, um, but they have it actually locked, so I can't really get inside uh, and show you guys a close up of the grave. Um, but with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoy the video. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to my channel as well, and love you guys. you guys so I hope that you guys are actually enjoying the videos that I'm bringing to you guys um, I do want to say thank you to all the recent new subscribers um, I do want to say thank you to all the recent 
recently new sus subscribers and uh, the, the love that I've been seeing on the new video of me um, talking a little bit more about the Native Americans uh, in the colonial times. Uh, that was a real big special project. Uh, I, I love all the comments that come across, the likes, uh, the views. It, it shows that my, re my, my videos are reaching uh, a wide range of audience. Uh, and I just want to be able to go out here and share my messages uh, and make special videos so you guys can understand the history as well uh, and how America became America, um, all the different uh, scenes and battles and all these other things that took place to form what America is today. Uh, now, like you guys know in some of my videos, not all of the scenes and stuff that took place in the in the beginning or the birth of America has always been great. There has also been a lot of tragedy uh, and a lot of bloodshed that came about uh, during those times. Uh, but that's why we came out here today to making uh, to learn a little bit more about a rock band that you know became very popular in their time uh, they were together for 45 years uh, and then you had a couple of members um, die uh, in results of a motorcycle accident um, and and, and, this, and you know one of them uh, and, you know it's a sad story of the band and what happened and some of the things that took place during those times uh, but it's just a great opportunity to come out here and just see some of the memorabilia and the stuff that they have out here. Uh, so that's always a um, very interesting uh, way of being able to look at things and just kind of get a better understanding of how life was during the 60s and the 70s. Uh, so if you look right here, that is Butch Trucks. Uh, grave uh, and then the one in the middle is Greg Almond and then right over there uh, is Dwayne uh, and then Barry Oakley uh, so um, now I wasn't able to get in because it is locked at the moment uh, so with that but you know it's okay um, you know because it's probably it's probably locked uh, for you know good reasons you want to make sure that it stays uh, secured and nobody has a chance to be able to uh, damage any of the any damage any of the property uh, so I, I completely understand um, but I'll be able I'll, I'll I was just glad to be able to come out here uh, and see where these men are buried be able to walk in the house um, and just get to see each and every different room. Um, when I was in the gift shop area, there's a window, and I was pointing out in the video as well, uh, but there's a window that shows this little hallway uh, where it has a blue piano in it. And that is actually where uh, they actually, uh, I believe the guy at the gift shop uh, said that Greg Allman uh, actually was riding uh, Knight Rider. Uh, it was either him or Dwayne. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but I'll, I'll post that information as well in the comments or in the description. Um, Hope that you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I love you guys and talk to you guys again soon.